Hey everyone, uh, Reggie B, back again for another episode of Logic Pro Mix Tips and Tricks. Today I'm gonna go over something very um, essential to uh, getting your tracks mixed when, if whether you know you're doing it yourself or whether you have an engineer, an audio engineer doing your uh, the mix for your records. Um, when you're sending your 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 track out to a audio engineer, um, they like the files in Wave. Um, and they like to have everything lined up neatly and organized uh, to make their job easier. And um, in Logic Pro is a great way of tracking out the stems uh, because each individual track is considered a stem. So this track here would be considered a stem, this one a stem, and you want each one of these to come out separately so that your engineer can get a great mix on their overall uh, record. So what I'm going to show you guys today is how to do that in Logic Pro X. How to track out your stems or your splits um, so that way you can have everything organized and send it to your engineer for a quick mix. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is, is see, I have a track here um, and I have everything on separate tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File. Then I'm going to go from File to Export. And from export to all tracks as audio files. Now, when I click that, it's going to tell me how many tracks I have. You see, I have 12, 12 tracks to be bounced, and it's asking me where. Me, I'll have it go to my desktop because I don't have much on there. Uh, now, here, overload protection only. I prefer uh, to actually put this on off because if I did the mix myself, um, you know, or if I'm doing the mix myself. I know how much headroom I left, but for most you could leave it on, overload protections, just so that your tracks don't clip. Um, 24 bits fine, and save format is wave. You hit save on that, and now it's going to begin to uh, track out each of the stems of your record. Um, and if we go to my desktop after this is done, we will see each individual track has been split. Just give it a little time here. Now this is great because it allows your engineer to uh, really go through each individual track and EQ it, compress it, do all the things they need to do, whether they want to apply reverb or whatever it is, they can do that to the individual track without having any complications. Uh, now for mastering, you want to send one WAV file, but for mixing, you, it's best that you export all the tracks separately and just get them, you know, lined up. So now, normalizes it. And let's see. Normalizing each individual track. <clears throat> Okay, I believe it's finished now. So now when I go to my desktop, as you can see, all of these tracks have been bounced out, all 12. So now, if I create a new folder, and I'm saying it stems, I can take all the tracks, drag them to this folder, Boom. Now all my tracks are here. Now when you send it to your engineer, chances are if you have so many WAV files, you can't just email this one file because it's too big. So the thing you want to do is next compress this folder. So you want to right click, compress, and now when it compresses it, it's going to put it into a zip file. And this zip file is much more easier to send than individual tracks. So now we have our zip file right here. And now that we have this, we can send it off to our engineer. Uh, preferably, I like to use websites like wetransfer.com. 
um, they're a great website for transferring large files uh, you can go there upload your zip file and uh, send it off to your engineer it'll just ask for your email and your engineers email and um, you can send it off to them and they'll they can do work from there um, so that's that's how you bounce out stems guys uh, if you guys got any questions or you guys got any records you need mixed and you need to send me the stems this is how you do it all right until next time guys.